round two of three minutes seasons competition. Let's listen to our fifth speaker, Joanna Kim. She's from the Department of Pharmacological Sciences, and the title of her talk is Trust Your Gut. Have you ever had diarrhea? Yeah. <laughs> when we get diarrhea and stomach cramps, we immediately start to wonder what could have caused it, right? What did I eat last night? When will it get better? We ask these questions because it's a symptom that we cannot see. But as we all know here, it usually gets better. The symptom can be traced back to intestine. I am particularly interested in small intestine. Small intestine. Well, this organ is not small at all. It's a six meter long tube, has a finger-like structure inside of the tube, has a surface area of 330 square feet that's half size of this room. What's really remarkable about this tissue is that the entire lining of the surface area is replaced with new cells every three to five days. Just think, half of this room with new cells just in three to five days. This makes the small intestine the fastest self-renewing tissue in our body and that is maintained by a small population of stem cells that are at the base of the tissue. The goal of my thesis is to understand how the functions of the intestinal stem cells are controlled. Each cell type is unique in that it has a different cell signature. What determines the signature is a set of genes that are just uniquely expressed in that cell type. My research showed that a protein called Krufolite factor 5 or Cal5 is important to maintain the signature of the intestinal stem cells. And without Cal5, the stem cells lose the ability to replace itself and they're ultimately lost from the tissue. So in the intestine, Cal5 is like a guardian of stem cells. As a guardian of the stem cells, I wanted to see if Cal5 is also important for the healing process after injury. So I induced injury in small intestine using irradiation, which you may know is an effective cancer treatment but it also damages intestine. In fact, 8 out of 10 patients receiving radiation therapy develop GI symptoms, including diarrhea. My research showed that the presence of Cal5 in the intestine is critical for the tissue to regenerate and become healthy again. The ultimate goal here is to really try to focus on how the Cal5 functions as a guardian of the stem cells. If we understand how, we may be able to control stem cells during injury state, even with diseases that we couldn't cure before. So, next time you have a diarrhea, trust your gut or trust in the gut research. Thank you.